Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And so between episodes I have done a little bit of work on the base, as I've said I would, and I have started work on the living area of the asteroid base. And I think what I'm, I'm going to put it right back here next to, or right behind that first hangar we built. Uh, so I think, so I have doors over there, but we'll have an entrance there. There'll be a living quarters on this half. And then on this half, we'll have like radio command, like the radio tower that'll go up pretty high and overlook the entire uh, asteroid base, or at least what we have currently built. If we build more, obviously we won't have that. There also be cargo access in there. I would like I haven't put cargo access anywhere else yet, unfortunately. Uh, I've just been using the connectors as uh, space, but you can't do that when we have ships. So currently, what we have going on over here is entrance, double doors for an airlock. I would like to put a vent in here and get an airlock. We have interior walls on the floor, and then in some of the spots the walls here we have heavy plate and the idea is that this is a very exposed position it will have an antenna on it probably should put some heavy armor on it and so there's four spots here this area will be the tower the rest has a couple of armor plates in the corners uh, but other than that not too much heavy plate over there and this isn't going to be very much bigger than probably two or three blocks tall this one though is probably going to go up 10, maybe 15 blocks. I was thinking up to like right about here. So that way you can see over the entire base. Uh, so that's the plan. It's taken a little while to uh, produce, obviously, because uh, I have to keep putting in heavy plate. And heavy plate is expensive, as well as. Um, the interior walls. I don't think they're actually, I think the interior walls are less expensive, actually. Yeah, just like that. And then we need heavy plates. Heavy, heavy. Um, but I think the interior walls might be cheaper in terms of like iron costs, not cheaper in terms of like actual parts required. Um, because I think you need like almost 30 blocks. But I want to put windows here. Do I have windows? I do have windows here. So you have small windows. We have the big windows. We'll do two big windows. I need girders to produce to a place there. We'll get some of these. Uh, I think I want the inverted two by three flat inverted. That way it's flush with the wall. And I guess that will be the top of this base. And this part of the base. That works just fine for me. So we need a couple more heavy plate armor here, 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 and here. Here. I'm going to need to grind that away so I can weld that up. Get stupid corners. Where's the last heavy armor? There it is. I made it so that it lines up with that one, and this one's just in the corner, because I can. Might as well start using the more expensive materials if we're going to have so much extra. Plus we have the mining ship, obviously, so might as well use more expensive materials. So let's go ahead and get this block loaded up. I need a metal grid though for it. And there. So let's get some metal grids. Uh, I need more than that. 24, 97. Oh, I have girders in my inventory. That's why. There we are. Let's get rid of those girders real quick. I just need to real. I really just need to weld this block here so I can keep working. But we might as well get the rest because that way I don't have to worry about the corner. It's always the worst one because you always have to either get rid of blocks or do something funky in order to mine or into order to weld them because you don't have access. But there, that's that. Might as well 
put the rest into there somewhere. Good. More steel plates. More steel plates. Wherever they're at. There we go. Okay, so now we can finally build this wall. Let's just get some light plates. I should probably put a heavy wall here if I want to keep the symmetry going. Uh, yeah, I guess I should. Let's go ahead. Just put that in there. Now I can pick that up. This needs to get replaced, unfortunately. I have to build that first. Give me more metal grids. See, this is what I've been going through in order to build this. Dang, base just needs so much material that my character can't hold. And I should probably build a welding ship, but I don't feel like building one right now. It's just a bunch of effort that I don't feel like putting into a welding ship that I will probably um, not use as much as I should. Although, it's a good idea. I'm tempted now. I shouldn't have even talked about it because now I'm going to want to. Okay, we need one more. I don't have steel plates now. More steel plates. There we go. Let's just grab the necessary metal grids for that block. There we go. We can put the roof onto the entrance way. Actually, this will be a one of these blocks. To make that transition feel a little bit more normal. There. And we'll have light plate. Uh, we'll probably do um, this here. Yeah, we'll do that there. Yeah, because we'll have the final um, more heavy armor plates. We'll have the final layer here. go like that and then this will just be like this for this section and that's that section there of course we need all the wall pieces I can load everything there that'll be this living this part of the living section then we'll have another piece here. That's where I like the entrance way. This will be the living section. This will be the tower, just like that. So I'm going to weld all of this up. This is going to take me a minute. Okay, so that's mostly done now. We've gotten the whole lower section done for the most part. I just need to put some blocks in there. But this is the height I have it at currently now. I want to make sure that this is a good height. So if we're here, is this good for height? That's the question. I think this is perfect, honestly. I think anything higher than this would just be kind of ridiculous. So yeah, let's just put that, keep that as the height for this thing. Do I want to put windows here? There's no point. Yeah, no point. There will be windows in the top. They don't need to see here. So we'll just keep going like this. And I guess I'm just going to keep welding up this uh, tower up. It's getting there. The heavy, the heavy blocks are a real, real drain on the resources. But other than that, 
no big deal there's no big issues yet so let's just uh keep on cruising i just checked our ice uh, reserves and we are all out of ice so I'm gonna have to take another trip down to the planet to get us some ice which is unfortunate it's always a bummer having to stop mid work but you know what we need ice I can't live without it I'm using a lot of power right now to, to with all the assemblers trying to produce all these uh, metal grids and steel plates so Gotta keep up on the power, otherwise uh, we will run out and we will have a brownout and there will be nothing I can do to fill this thing up back with hydrogen because the hydrogen, because I didn't leave this on stockpile. I could always do that, but you know, in case I ever forget it, that I don't want to run out of hydrogen. Okay, so I've gotten the tower done, I think. Here it is from the outside. Just basically a 360 window box with some antennas on top. I actually have two up there, but I just turned one off so that way they're not just both taking a bunch of power. There's no need to have them on there. So let's go ahead and hop on in. We've got lights in here and everything. As you can tell, my lights aren't on. Move the med bay in here. Hopefully, uh, it'll stay protected in here. Have no issues. This currently is just a big open box straight up with a really long ladder that I don't feel like going up but we can use the jetpack so if you were to take this ladder all the way up you would land right here oh wait turn my check my phone. there we go then we have up here we have the command deck so we have four little control terminals there's not really any purpose for them they're just here but this way they're being elevated it allows you to come up to the windows and see outside which i think is a cool effect i don't know how well it actually uh would work and uh, if this was real but it works nonetheless it has the tower the big purpose for this uh, entire base was for the uh, med bay capabilities and i'll probably do some more decoration in here in fact uh, let's see, do I have the decoration pack? I do have the first decoration pack. So, let's put a couch. I'm going to need some interior plates before I can do uh, all of this. So let me go grab a set of interior plates. I would also like to pressurize that space, but the thing that I don't know is I used the iron plates up here for the corners rather than actual blocks so I don't know if those are airtight which would be unfortunate if they're not because that means I want to be able to um, pressurize you know so okay so let's go back into the decorative blocks let's get uh, let's get a corner couch actually let's just get the normal couch because it has all of them uh, we can get a toilet. We can get hmm, we can get some lockers. Well, we need them. We get a kitchen. I think that works so far. So let's go ahead and take out the ah. It's on the wall. So we place the couch there and a uh, corner couch. Oh, Jesus. Let's place a corner couch there, so we have this nice little viewing area. What else do we have? We have, oh, we have a bed. I see. We don't need that right now. We do need a toilet, though. Which way is this facing? I can't tell. Is that the right way? looks the right way. We want to place the toilet there. We've got army lockers. This is definitely not the right way. So let's go like that. We'll go... Um, let's see. We'll put these lockers here and here. 
And what we got? We got the kitchen. That's the last thing we got. I believe it's supposed to go that way. I believe. That looks right to me, so we'll put that there. And let's see. Armory, locker. We got some planters. We'll put that in this last spot over here. Just right next to the kitchen. Perfect. So let's go ahead and load all this up. I need a bunch of construction components, I bet. Yeah. Yep, just a bunch of construction components, and I can go to the other random stuff. There we go. Yes. That was the correct orientation for the toilet, which is good. I like looking at these buildings. We'll need a, I need another oh, in the air again. I'll need some more lights in this area. I, don't, I didn't really know where to put them because this is a, an even number of blocks, which I always say it's never building, but I did it anyways because I wanted that. So here we can put ammo and guns and stuff. So I think what I'll do, I don't want to carry the gun and the ammo for now, if I can help it. So I'll put that in there for now. Kitchen looks cool. Planters look cool. Still have the med bay in here. I would like to pipe this up potentially in the future, but while we're here, oh yeah, there we go. We got a pink skull now. There we go. Loading. Oh well, yeah, I'm really like really liking the way that this turned out a little bit. And of course, uh, can I get a vent? Uh, control six, control seven, event. It's very likely that I won't be able to get in here because I put the lights there. Yeah, if I wanted to do it, I'd have to do it up there. Or I could just lose a little bit of oxygen every time. I can just put the vent in here, and then if you walk out, you close this door, and then you'll just lose this one cubic meter worth of oxygen. I don't know if I will end up pressurizing it just because it's a little annoying, but and I'm fine with just using bottles. The oxygen bottles last so long comparatively. The only threat is if we ever run out of ice up here, but let's, well, let's check. I was every time I load in, this is broken. So I have to remember that I can't do this while loaded in, which is so frustrating. I wish it wasn't the case. But anyways, let's go ahead and come in here. And we still have only 19,000. I already made a run. But we'll have to do that between episodes. Let's see, what else can I do quickly? Because this has been a shorter episode now. Let's talk... Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to get a cargo some cargo access and all of these hangers. And I was thinking about putting it like on one of the sides here. Like what if I put it in the wall right here? I know it's open from the back as well. I could put a plate on that if I really wanted to. Or, um, oh, I was gonna say I could put it down here, but the other ones I would be able to do that. I don't know if I go down here, see. Because the way this conveyor is connected, it's connected in the front, while the rest of them are connected on the sides or back. So I would be able to put the conveyor axis there, and the cargo axis there. Or I could just put it in the wall. If I'm going to put it in the wall, then I'm going to put it. I put it here for this one. I'd put it. Rub this back up. I'd put it on this side for this one. And then for this one. Um, I put it on this side. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my voice is getting a little. 
I don't know what you would call it, crackly. I'd put it. I'd put it there. And then let's see. I also need a cargo access in here. That's gonna be annoying because I don't have any conveyors running in here yet. So let's put the cargo access in the wall somewhere. Hmm. Where would be a good spot for it? Well, right here. I like this spot for the cargo. I need to mine this out a little bit more. There we go. Well, yeah. So let's see how difficult it'd be it would be to run conveyors to these locations. This one should be really easy. I'm getting some serious lag spikes right now, and I don't know why. Should be even with that. Yep, so I can just go here. Um, I do need interior plate for this, though, unfortunately. Let's grab that. Head down here. First up, let's get the... Uh, cargo container, the small cargo. There. That'll make my life easier placing the conveyors. You see, I don't know why I'm getting. I'm, it's jittery. It's weird. Uh, this one I want to be a reinforced straight. Just this one. The rest can be normal conveyors. It's got to be a tube. Like that. And then we gotta have straight and straight, and that's connected. That one's the easy one. Let's hope that stops the jittering, laggy effect that I was getting. I had my computer was running a bunch of things it shouldn't be running at the moment. I don't know why, but it was frustrating, but no big deal. We will persevere. Yeah, it was just not able to get all of them. There we go. Got the last couple of tubes for this. Uh, get me out of here. There. There we go. We have that. Now we just need to get the last cargo container up here done. There we go. That's all done. Oh, I accidentally painted it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There. Now it's back to normal colors. I don't know why this one is on the side. Since this one is straight up. This is it the wrong orientation? If I went back. Kind of like that. Now they're all straight up. It was just the wrong orientation. That's fine with me. Simple fix. There. That one's done. Next, the second easiest one, which will be this one. Because there's already a conveyor junction right there. So literally all we need is a single reinforced tube. And this one we can feed directly from here. We'll have to go all the way back to the storage. There's that. And then all we need is the simple con uh, cargo container. These aren't meant for storage. They're meant to allow easy access to the grid. That's all. I need to add that. There you go. And then that's completed there. That's better. Just goes there. Hang on, I need to mine that block first. Oh, I know where it's at. What well, would be uh, uh, that? Would be easiest to go from here. Go like that, that, this needs to be a T, like that, this needs to be a straight, this needs to be a curve, like so, um, and then this needs to be, of course, a straight, one of these, a reinforced straight. 
Okay, we can get all of these done. That'll get this connector back up. And then I can come over here and get the last car container. There's that. Oh, then I get everything. There. We have all of these car containers up, so that's easy access in all of the small hangers. Uh, that was a weird shadow effect. I thought these weren't done because they had that uh, pattern on it, but it's because the sun's coming up from down there and radiating that pattern up there. That's really cool. So now for the most difficult part. We gotta get this one. This one's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'll probably just do this one between episodes. Um, I know this one was a little bit slower, but we did get this entire living quarters building done, as well as I've gotten a lot of work done based between episodes. But uh, this is a really cool building, in my opinion. I really like it. I'm happy with it. Um, but I hope you guys are too. Anyways, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and it always helps to subscribe. And I will see you all next time.